video, I'm gonna share with you the full toolkit that hackers use to hack you and get full control of your device if you're using crack softwares. And I'm gonna show you three most hidden ways to do this that 99% of people don't know. So at the end of this video, you will become zero to hero. Anyway, check this out. This looks like a normal software setup, right? But I'm going to quickly unpack it and then run the setup. But what just happened? On your side, it seems like nothing happened. But from the hacker's side, he got the connection received from your device, and now he can access your webcam from here, monitor your activities, steal passwords, and take full control of your device. The scariest part? Windows 11. Defender can't even detect this. But how? How do hackers actually do that? Don't worry. I'm going to guide you step by step on how to do this. So stay with me until the end of this video, and I'm gonna share with you two secret killer tools we use for this. You can try this by hacking your own computer for fun to learn ethical hacking. Even though there are thousands of videos on how to gain a reverse shell, none of them really seem to work, or they're just too complex. But by the end of this video, you're going to learn the most practical and working way to do this. Today's video is divided into three main categories. First, I'll explain how to create the payload, which enables us to connect with the target machine. Second step is making it work by bypassing Windows Defender. Third step is decorating our payload so it looks like a cracked software setup. Setting up the payload is divided into two subcategories. First one, setting the payload if both the victim and the hacker are on the same network. Second one, the way you should set it up if the attacker and the victim are in two different states. Before going into the video, I need to strongly mention that this video is made only for educational purposes for those who are interested in learning ethical hacking. And you don't have any right to hack anyone for any reason, because that's illegal. So make sure to test this on your own device to improve your ethical hacking skills. I'm not responsible for any misuse of this information. So let's get into the video soon. First, let's start with creating the payload. We simply call this the reverse shell method because the one who connects with the hacker is the victim after running the payload, not the other way around. When the victim runs that file on their computer, the payload directly connects with the hacker, giving full control. For this, we use remote access Trojan creation software, which is also known as RATS. I'm gonna use async RAT for this. You can find it on the internet. So now I open the async RAT application right-click on it, and click on the builder. Now add your IP address here like this. Go to the Mess C category and tick these two boxes. Finally, go to the Build category and build the rat by specifying a location. So if we open the created file, you can see the connection builds. From here, we can control our target machine. In this case, you have to consider two main things. First, the IP address you are adding here must be a static IP address, which means a fixed IP address that doesn't change. Usually, Windows IP addresses are not static by default. So make sure to change that into a static IP address by watching a YouTube tutorial. Otherwise, you will face problems when connecting with the target machine. Secondly, this IP address method only works if both the target machine and the host machine are on the same network. Now you might get a problem, how to make the payload work in every situation. For example, let's say the hacker is in India and the victim is in the USA. In such cases, we need to create the payload in a slightly different way. I've already made a tutorial on how to do that, 
so you can watch it here from the first pinned comment. Okay, if we try to run this on our target machine, Windows Defender quickly detects this as a backdoor and blocks it. So here's how we're going to bypass that. If we just look deep inside the Windows Defender settings, it has an option called Add Exclusions to Different Paths. For example, let's say we add a new folder into the exclusions. So if we put something malicious inside that folder and try to run it, Windows Defender won't block it because it doesn't care what happens in an excluded folder, okay? But if we have to do this manually, it's not real hacking, right? Listen carefully. Here comes the trickiest part. But before proceeding, make sure to click on the subscribe button and leave your opinion as a comment below. Okay, now we are going to automate this whole process into just two clicks. But how? Simple answer is this. We are going to store our payload in cloud storage and then create a file that will automatically exclude a path from Windows Defender, download the payload into that path, and then run our payload. I've written a batch code to achieve this. Let me explain what it does. First, in here, it excludes the downloads folder from Windows Defender. The main reason I prefer the downloads folder is because it's a common path for all Windows machines. So you don't need to edit anything. In here, we need to paste the direct download link of our payload. Finally, it runs our payload, enabling us to connect with the target machine. Now let's upload our file into cloud storage. I'm gonna use box.com for this since it currently doesn't have any restrictions for malicious files. If you are watching this video later and it's not working, you can use an AI tool like Perplexity to find a suitable cloud storage. Now I get the shareable link to this file. Now we need to get the direct download link to this file. There are two ways to do this. First way I know, simply you can right click on the download button and then copy the link address. But if it's not working, here is the second method. You need to right click on this web page, click on inspect, and then go to the network tab. Then click on the download button. And now from here, you can copy its direct download link like this. So if you paste this link in your browser, it automatically starts downloading the file. If it's working, you can paste that link here. Now I save this as a batch file. So here we have the file. Now let's check whether it's working. If I run this, you can see that first it excludes the downloads folder from Windows Defender, downloads our payload into that, and runs it. So the connection builds successfully. Now let's decorate this into an .exe file. I'm going to convert this into an .exe file. You need WinRAR installed on your computer to do this. So since this is the final step, I'm quickly showing it without much explanation. You don't need this exact method to convert this, but you can use other methods too. So here we have our file. Now you can test this on another computer at home. And comment below if you learned something from this. If you're interested in converting a USB flash drive into a Wi-Fi password stealer, I made a video about that too. Just click here to watch it.